Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. Over the next month or so, I'm going to do a couple of videos on filament types, kind of pros and cons of each, going over a little bit about them. Uh, today I'm going to start with my initial thoughts of this wood filament. I got a thing of Hatchbox wood filament. I have a couple prints here that I'm going to uh, zoom in on, kind of show you a couple things about them, uh, kind of go over uh, what I like about the filament, um, when you might want to use it, when you might not want to use it, and a couple other things from there. The next video I'll do on this is going to be when I finish all of these completely, I'll show you what they look like when they're actually done fully stained and have a clear coat on them. I've seen a couple videos, uh, or really all of them that I've seen, they kind of just show you here, here's this print, here's what it looks like done. They don't really talk about what's involved to get it from point A to point B, they just say sand. Um, there's a little bit more to it. I got a couple examples here that I'm going to go through, so let's go ahead and jump into that. Before we do, uh, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you. The first example I have here is three rectangles. They are all printed on the same batch, standard PLA um, print settings, uh, 0.2 millimeter layer height. I've got two layers for the shell thickness, and really everything else is just standard for PLA print. All right, so this one right here is completely untouched. Took it straight off of the build plate. Wanted to kind of show you what it looked like uh, without doing any work to it. Uh, this one, I took it and just cut it in half with a table saw to kind of show you that um, it does look and feel like wood on the outside, uh, but you still have the infill. So if you're trying to cut something down and then change dimensions around later, you would either have to know exactly what you're trying to print up front, or you have to do 100% infill, which is kind of defeating the point. Um, and then this last one is, I did a rough sand on it and then a quick coat of stain on the top piece. Um, one thing I'll point out when we get over to the bowl is the sand, uh, the sandpaper does leave marks and you've got to do a really nice um, fine grit sandpaper at the end, which I did not do on these. I was just trying to see what works and what doesn't work, which is why I'm doing this video to kind of show you that. <clears throat> now, some of the characteristics of these. I mean, this is very light. If you were to compare it to a block of pine about the same size, uh, this is probably half the weight of a block of pine at the same dimensions. Uh, I can actually measure that in the final video going over all of this stuff on, next time. Uh, I'll bring a couple examples. Uh, probably find a piece of pine. Uh, I got some oak, walnut, and purple heart laying around. I'll use those as examples. Like I said, I got a shell thickness of two layers here um, so that's really going to be the full amount you can sand let me kind of zoom in a little bit here um, if you're sanding it down or if you have any grooves or anything that's going deeper than that you're going to end up going into the infill and you're going to uh, pretty much ruin what you're working on so keep that in mind um, on the bowl and on the other um, I guess I got two bowls over here, but on both of those, they're a little bit different, but I did a thicker uh, shell just so when you're sanding them, you don't have to worry about potentially going too deep with them. And then the last thing I wanted to point out about um, just how they print, like I said, pretty much prints just like PLA would print, uh, but it does have a wood burn smell-ish. It's not bad, but if you ever been into like an area where somebody's just cutting a piece of wood uh, using a table saw or, uh, well, really any type of saw, uh, it has that slight burning smell. Uh, you smell that in here. Um, I'm assuming it's from the wood fibers they're using with the filament. Um, it's not bad, I just wanted to make sure that you're aware that you will have a little wood smell or wood burning smell when printing with this. Um, here's the actual filament that I use, it's just Hatchbox, I'll link to it in the description below. Uh, it's a good price uh, overall, it's a re really good filament. Um, I've had no issues with it, but all of this was printed using this guy here. Alright, the next thing is, I've got a completely unfinished bowl here. It's more of a textured bowl, so you've got your lines going across here. Uh, it's really more for decoration. I'm going to sand it down. Uh, this is untouched, so this is straight off of the printer. You can still see the, your layers and all of that here. But I'm going to sand this down. I'll stain it really nice and then put a, a nice clear coat or uh, probably just use polyurethane on it and give it that protective finish and use it for like a key tray or something like that. Uh, but this is what a bowl would look like coming off of the printer. 
Um, this right here took probably about 20 hours or so to print. Uh, same um, layer height as those guys, so it's 0.2 layer height. Uh, slightly thicker shell, not by much, just an extra layer. Um, I mean, overall, it doesn't look bad how it came off of the print, but if you put stain on it without sanding it down and getting those imperfections out of it, it's just not going to look good. So that's kind of the process I wanted to talk about a little bit. I'm not going to actually uh, bust out sandpaper and start sanding and showing you guys. I don't think that that's going to provide too much value, but if you'd like me to on a future video, I can. Uh, but I am going to go back to this example and then this bowl example here. Um, this was, it's a smaller bowl, I printed it on the Ender 3, um, it took about nine, nine and a half hours to print. I sanded it down uh, with really the wrong sandpaper, I just had some round sandpaper, couldn't really get into all the grooves like I needed to, and I didn't have a fine enough finish. So you can still see some of the marks in here from the layer heights, and then at the bottom you can still see a little bit of... Uh, gap here where there was a little bit of an issue on the print itself. It just had a little gap on the layer. So what I'm going to do to actually finish this is I'm going to re-sand this down. I just put a quick layer of stain on it like I did with this just to see what it would look like. Um, again, I, it did exactly what I figured it would do. It showed every little mark and every imperfection. Um, so what I'm going to do, like I was saying, I'm going to uh, sand this back down. I will get some wood filler, kind of fill those in a little bit. Uh, it's not going to need much at all, but that gap is a little bit thicker than I want to try to sand down. I think it might cause some uh, surface issues if I tried that. So the wood fill would go in there nicely. It's not going to use much. And then um, sand through all of this, uh, I'll probably start with the standard progression, um, 80, 120, uh, 220, and then maybe a 400. I'll probably pick up a couple pieces of that. Um, the sandpaper I had when I was using this is, it's a little bit thicker. It's the round sandpaper that you use on an orbital sander. Uh, so it was not meant for what I was doing with this by hand, um, which is another thing on something like this, you're gonna have to sand it by hand. Um, you're not gonna be, be able to get really any of your power tools in here, so it's gonna be all hand sanded. Uh, but once you get it sanded down, um, you're gonna wanna stain it, get a couple layers of stain on it, just so it has a good finish. You can see here where uh, if you didn't actually get down past the layer height and you just had some of the gaps there, that the sanded areas pick up uh, or hold the stain better uh, than the non-sanded areas. I'm assuming sanding it down is exposing the wood fibers more and the wood fibers is what's actually holding the stain. Um, so I'm going to create another video here hopefully in the next couple weeks with these guys being completely finished. I'll sand it down, um, get a couple layers of stain on there, put a nice uh, gloss coat on it. Uh, like I said, probably use polyurethane on one. I might just use a spray clear coat on the other to show you guys the difference between the two. You can really do a lot with these. I can also see, envision printing a couple vases or something like this. Uh, these are really gonna be more of decorative pieces when they're all done. Uh, this will look a lot better when it's done. Um, like I said, this is just an initial thoughts video, so I'm just kind of talking about what I've done so far, um, playing around with it, uh, lessons learned, talking about when you're sanding it, make sure that you are getting a good sand, um, that the layer height gaps will cause issues with the stain. Uh, here's another example. Let's see if you can see that, but right here uh, where I couldn't quite get the layers um, completely evened out. Um, the stain is not even there. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Another thing I'm going to try, uh, probably, I might just print another bowl and use that as an example too, is uh, going with a uh, smaller layer height so you have less issues with the layers. Uh, I'll give that a try too and um, show that as an example next time as well. Uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see uh, in the final video about this, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll try to incorporate as much as possible in that video. Um, another thing, what this reminded me of when I was sanding and when it was done is like the blocks you would get for kids. Um, that's, this feels a lot like that. It's just a really light wood. 
Um, obviously, if you do a thicker infill or a more dense infill, that weight's gonna go up significantly. Um, but this is great if you wanted to try to print like a little block set or something for your kids. It wouldn't be that expensive. Again, you might be able to buy it for cheaper than the roll of filament, depending on how much you have to print. But I've printed all of this and I still have quite a bit left. I barely touched this roll. And I don't think this was that much. Um, I don't wanna quote a price because I don't remember what I paid for. But I will link to it in the description below. All right, guys. So that's my initial thoughts on the wood filament. Uh, I haven't done any initial thought videos like this before, so let me know what you think of it. Do you like this type of video? Would you rather me just hold off and kind of show you everything on a final video? Uh, what are your thoughts? Um, also, if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. I'll try to get those answered in the next video as well or reply to them in the comments. But overall, I think this wood filament's cool. It's not badly priced and you can do some pretty neat decorative things with this. Um, I know these pieces look kind of crude now, but uh, once they're done, once they have that good stain and that clear coat on them, they're gonna look really nice. Um, so I'm looking forward to finishing these up and showing you guys next time. Uh, I did order some uh, carbon filament as well, so I'm going to be doing a couple videos on that. So based on your feedback about this video, whether you'd like it to be just one video or initial thoughts and then final video, uh, I'll incorporate that into the video for the carbon. Then I'm going to also get some nylon as well and do a video on that. And then if there's any other filaments you'd like me to try, uh, just let me know. I'll make sure to get a video on that as well. And then probably at the end of all that, I'll do a video kind of combining all of them, talking about pros and cons of each, when you want to use them, when you don't, etc. But that's all I have for today. So uh, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, this channel is growing quickly, which is awesome. I really appreciate that. Talk to you next time. Thanks.